Hola, hola. Hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> okay. How are you today? Fine. Okay. Excellent. Did you enjoy your lunch? Yes. Okay. That's good. Excellent. So let's see. We're ready with your book. Yeah. This one is on. We were today on page twenty-nine. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Excellent. Let me see. Remember, you write a letter P of present. Thank you, Adrian. Good job. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So let's see. Right now we are 12. So let's wait 30 seconds and we start. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, that's good. Language class number two, yeah? Okay, nice. Hello, good afternoon. Okay, so let's see. So we start with this one page number 29. So we have this part, topic. Okay, we discussed the last week that Okay, what is a topic? And you have this information. Okay, let's go back on page. Regresemos, chicos, a la página 20. Page number 20, yeah? Okay, you have here on this page the definition of topic. Yes? Okay, so let's see. What is a topic? According to this information says that a topic is a main idea, okay? That you write about something. For example, remember in this activity, I write on you, uh, let me see my favorite food. Okay, this one is my topic, my favorite food. It's an idea that I have. Okay, what is your favorite food? If you tell me. Uh, let's see, Daniela Blandon, what is your favorite food? Hamburger. Hamburger, okay, excellent. Aaron, what is your favorite food? Chocolate. Okay, that's good. Let me see. I write here, okay? Daniela Blendon says hamburger. Okay, hamburger. Yeah. Okay, Aaron says chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. So we write here. Let's see. Alison, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is pretzels or ice cream. And okay, pretzels. So let's see, we're right here, pretzels. Yes, okay, thank you. Okay, Avian, what is your favorite food? A sandwich. Okay, sandwich. Okay, that's good, sandwich. Let's see, Jimena Enriquez, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is Nutella and okay. pizza. Okay, Nutella. So we're right here, yeah? Okay, that's good. Let me see, Mateo Salmeron, what is your favorite food? <laughs> yeah, oh, I make a mistake here, yeah? Okay, I write in the correct way. Mateo Salmeron? Mm, great, pizza. Okay, pizza, let's see, let's write here, yeah, pizza. Okay, so let's see. Let me let me erase this one. Yes, because I have a mistake in that word. Okay, Nutella is with double L. Yes, not with double T. So Nutella, yeah. So I write correctly. Okay, so let's see. Alejandro Mendoza, what is your favorite food? Hi, Miss. Hi. Okay, so that's mean hamburgers, yes? Okay, so oh. let's see. Okay. No, chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. Okay, chicken nuggets. Okay, that's good. So let's see, let's write here, nuggets. Yeah, okay. So let's see, let me hear Magali. What is your favorite food?
Okay, so right in the chat, yeah? So you write the answer in the chat. Okay, thank you, good job. So let's see, if you see, okay, Miss Amanda, what is the favorite food? So let's see, lasagna, yeah? This one is the favorite food of Miss Amanda, yeah? Okay, so Alejandro Romero, what is your favorite food? Miss, lo que usted escribió, acabamos, acabamos de... de De comerlo. <laughs> ok. Vimos la saña de él. Ah, también tiene un mistake. Ok. Which one? Um, la sagna. Ah, but this one is the correct way of writing. Oh. Yeah. Ok. Oh. So let's see. La saña. Let me see. Beans soup. Yeah. Some of your classmates said that. Beans soup. Ok. Uh, a mí me gusta la comida. Okay, what is your favorite food? My favorite food, food, food is, is pollo campero, pizza, okay. soda, okay. lasaña. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Pollo campero. Ponga pollo campero. Okay, Alejandro. Thank you very much. So let's see now. Pollo campero, yeah? Okay, so let's see. All of this one, okay, are food. So we have a topic, favorite food, yeah? This one is our topic. And you say different ideas. For example, a sandwich, a Nutella, the pizza, pollo campero, lasagna, pupusas, bean soup, okay, nuggets, etc. yeah? All of these one are main ideas. And according to the definition that we have here says that a topic, okay, are ideas or is the main idea of the thing that you talk or that you write, yeah? Okay, that's mean all of these one are topics, yeah? All of these one are main ideas, yes? Okay, so let's see, let's continue. Okay, excellent, Mateo. So at the end of the class, you show me, yeah? Okay, so let's see. Now, this one, this one is an opossum. Who is an opossum? Okay, what is that? This one is an opossum, just to scream. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, this one is an opossum. It's a kind of animal, okay, that you can find in the forest. It's similar to a rat, yeah, but it's not a rat, yes? Okay, opossum, this one is the correct pronunciation. Opossum, yeah, that's meaning in Spanish, the word is sarigüeya, yeah? This one is in Spanish, sarigüeya, yeah? Okay, so let's see, and today, we discuss about opossum, yeah? So let's see, this one is, let's continue. Okay, opossums in that case are also known as possums. They are shy animals, but they pretend to be fierce if they are scared. They eat bugs, fruit, grass, and some vegetables. Mother carry their babies on their backs and they don't hang but they tails. This one are some characteristics or some important facts of them. Yeah. Okay. Opossums are also known as possums. They are shy animals. Okay. They eat bugs. That means insects. Okay. Fruits, grass, and some vegetables. And the mothers carry their babies on their backs and they don't hang by the tails. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Let me check this part. Okay. We have time to work and we develop this one. So you listen to the paragraph, your teacher, okay, your teacher reads and write one detail about bandicoots in each bubble below. Listen, okay. I read the paragraph. I have a paragraph here. You listen and you write different ideas on the circles that you have here. Okay, in that case, we discuss about bandicoots. So you listen, Okay, you catch the ideas and you write in the different circles that we have here. That's mean the most important facts that you consider, yeah? Okay, pay attention. So let's see, a bandicoot is an Australian nocturnal animal. A bandicoot looks like a rat with a pointed nose, a small ears and thin tail. The name bandicoot even came from the Indian name for a large rat. 
they have a strong hind legs that help them jump rather than run because they are marsupials. The mother bandicoot carries her babies in a pouch until they are old enough to take care of themselves. Bandicoots are omnivores, eating both plants and meat. They like to eat insects, nuts, okay, berries, and other treats they find on the ground. Many larger animals, including foxes, would like to eat a bandicoot. So bandicoots stay hidden during the day in grassy, overground areas. You will probably never see a bandicoot in the wild, but you can still enjoy learning about these interesting nocturnal animals. Okay, so let's see. Do you listen to information? Yes. Okay, did you complete the little circles that you have here? Okay. Okay, listen. Okay. So you listen the information that your teacher says. Yes. Okay. And you write different ideas here. Va a escuchar el párrafo que yo le estoy leyendo. Y usted va a tomar ideas principales y las va a escribir en los círculos acá. Yes. Okay, I read one more time. So be pay attention, please. Okay. A bandicoot is an Australian nocturnal animal. A bandicoot looks like a rat with a pointed nose, a small ears, and a thin tail. The name bandicoot even came from the Indian name for a large rat. This animal, however, are more like a rabbit than a rat. They have a strong hind legs that help them jump rather than run. Because they are marsupials, the mother raincoat carries her babies in a pouch until they are old enough to take care of themselves. Bandicoots are omnivores, eating both plants and meat. They like to eat insects, nuts, berries, and other treats they find on the ground. Many larger animals, including foxes, would like to eat a bandicoot. So bandicoots stay hidden during the day in grassy, overground areas. You will probably never see a bandicoot in the wild, but you can still enjoy learning about these interesting nocturnal animals. Okay, so let's see. Now, tell me what are the ideas that you listen and you write in the circles. Okay, Alejandro, you have one, tell me. Ajá, Okay. También, ¿cómo era la de él? They carry babies, no sé. Okay, the bandicoot carries her babies in a pouch. Okay. 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 So let's see. No, después lo voy a escribir, okay. Entonces, it's a nocturnal animal. Okay, excellent. It's a nocturnal animal. Yeah, this one is one. Good job. Did you write another? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, what is they, they, have, they have a strong hind legs. Okay, they have a strong leg. Excellent. Okay, stop. Thank you. Jimen Enriquez, ah, your turn. Okay. Okay, Jimena, tell me. Okay, can you activate your sound? Yes. Okay, try right now. Okay, Aaron, tell me. <clears throat> Another idea. Good afternoon, Aaron. They have a marsupial. Okay, they are marsupials, exactly. Good job. Okay, repeat. It's omnivore. 
Oh, okay, yeah, this one is good. Is omnivore, yes. Excellent, good job. Alison, tell me another idea. Bandicoots are, are more similar than rabbits. Okay, more similar than rats, yes. Okay, good job, excellent. So let's see, Adrian, give me another. It's a nocturnal animal. Okay, yes. What else? Yeah. All right, okay, I'm sorry. So let's see, they are nocturnal animals. They eat berries, yes. Okay, so let's see. Listen, so we right here. I write ideas. Okay, the first one, nocturnal. You say that, yeah? Nocturnal. Yes, they are nocturnal. Then, where live? They live in, in that case, Australia, yeah? This one is another idea, yeah? They live in Australia. So let's see, what else? You mentioned that they are marsupial. So that's good, yeah? Marsupial. Also carry their babies in a pouch. Okay, that's good. Carry, okay. It's babies in its pouch, yeah? Okay, this one is similar to bolsillo, yeah, in Spanish, yes? Okay, in its pouch, so that's good. Let's see, next one, it plants and meat. <coughs> I'm sorry, similar to the idea of around because they are omnivore, yeah? So, Eat plants and meat. Good job. Next one, live in grassy areas. Okay, live in grassy areas. Yes. Okay, next one, looks like a rat, as Alison says. Yes, looks like a rat. Okay. And you mentioned that they have a strong leg. Yes, excellent. A strong high leg. Okay, good job. So you identify, yeah, the different ideas. And this one is good because that's mean that you understand what is a topic, okay? So let's see, excellent. So good job. Let me check. When you finish this activity, you tell me, yeah? Okay, good. Okay, so that's me. Bandicoots are nocturnals. Bandicoots live in Australia. Bandicoots are marsupial. Bandicoots carry its baby in its pouch, okay? Bandicoots eat plants and meat. Bandicoots live in a grassy area and bandicoots look like a rat. Bandicoots has a strong hind leg, yes? Okay, so that's good. Excellent, so you give an applause, yeah? Okay, that's good. You did it, yes? Okay, excellent. Nice. Okay. In this class, you put in practice, okay, the listening part, yeah? Because you listen the story, you listen the paragraph, and in that form, okay, you understand what are the main ideas and you write in that space, yeah? So good practice. So let's see now, let's continue, yeah? Okay, let me clear this part and we continue. So let's see, write one declarative sentence about bandicoots. Okay, give me one declarative sentence about bandicoots. Let me see, give me one example. Okay. Declarative sentence. Remember, this one begins with capital letter and ends with a period, yeah? Okay, bandicoots. Give me one sentence, one example. The first example that I have here in the chat, okay, is example that I write, yeah? Okay. So let me see who write up. 
first example. Okay, Aaron, they are omnivore. Yes. Okay, so let's see, we're right here. Let me check. Okay, they are omnivore. Okay, they are omnivore. Yes, period. And this one is the sentence. Good job. Excellent. Okay, the bandicoots are similar to a rat. Yeah, this one is another sentence. Good job. So let's see, next one. Right, one exclamatory sentence about bandicoots. So in that case, exclamatory sentence. Okay, the first one that I write the sentence is the first one that I take. <coughs> okay, exclamatory sentence. Remember, an exclamatory sentence is when you show a strong feeling, okay? That means you are surprised, you are happy, okay? You are sad, etc. So give me one example of this one. Okay, thank you, Ariana. They look like a rat. Okay, excellent, good job. So let's see, they look like a rat. Exactly, and we write an exclamation point. They look like a rat, excellent. Okay, there's a bandicoot. Okay, this one is another exclamatory sentence, good. Okay, next one, write one interrogative sentence about something you still want to know about bandicoots. Interrogative sentence, okay? About something you still want to know. Acerca de algo que quieras saber de estos animales. Interrogative sentence, yeah? That's mean a question, okay? Write one interrogative sentence about something you still want to know about bandicoots. Okay, something that you think, ah, oh, okay. The teacher, okay, didn't read this part. Or the teacher didn't mention that information. So I want to know about this one, yeah? Okay, so Aaron says, ah, okay. So let's see an Allison. So let's see. Okay, do, the bandicoot, okay, have tail, okay, es que ellos tienen cola, yeah, do the bandicoots have tail, okay, excellent, okay, so let's see, Jimena, okay, right in the chat, Jimena, your question, yeah, okay, excellent, so let's see, uh, let me see. Okay, Mateo Estrada means how we can say roedor in English. Okay, rodent. R O D E N T. Rodent. Okay. I send a message to you, yeah? Okay, so let's see, Mateo. I write in the chat, so check, please. Okay, I write the answer in the chat. Okay, rodent, Mateo. Okay, excellent. This one is the meaning of. Oh, we can say that in Spanish, yeah, in English, rodent. Okay, excellent. You finished this part? Yes? Okay, that's good. Excellent. Okay, so we continue, yeah? Nice. So let's see. This one, okay, next page, page number 30. In that case, we discuss about singular and plural nouns. Yeah, remember, we study different rules. Okay, during these weeks. So a singular noun names one person, place, or thing. Okay, that's mean we make a review about this one. A singular noun names one person, place, or thing. And a plural noun names more than one person, more than one place, and more than one thing. And for forming the plural of a noun, okay, ending in F or F-E, you change the F or F-E to B and you add E-S, yes? Okay, see, this one is, uh, let me see a review of the last topic that we studied. Okay, so let's see. Thank you, Mario, for your question. How small are they? Yeah, that's good. Okay, write the plural form of each noun. Okay, for example, shelf. What is the plural form? Alejandro Mendoza, what is the plural form of this one? 
shelf. Hi, me. Hi, Alejandro. What is the plural form? Shelf. Shelves. Okay, good. Let's see. Shelves. Excellent. So we write here. Let me see. I write in a text. Okay, shell best. Yeah, that's mean. Okay, so we replace the letter F or or by B, and then you add ES. Shelf, shell best. Yes. Okay, excellent. So let's see next one. Okay. Let's see Diana Marroquin. Okay, number two, calf. What is a plural form? Calf. Cloud, cloud. Okay, what is the plural form? Cal. Cloud. Okay, calves. Yes? Okay, remember we eliminate the letter F and we substitute by the letter B and then we add ES. Calves. Okay, number three, knife. What is the plural form? Julio Rivera, knife. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Let's knives. Okay. Good. Excellent, Julio. Thank you. So K and I V E S knives. Okay. So you drop or you change the letter F by the letter B. Yeah. And then you add E S at the end. Okay, excellent. So let's see next one. Okay, Lucas Marroquin, what is the plural form of leaf? Leaf. Lucas. Leaves. Leaves, okay, no. excellent. That's good. Okay, leaf, leaves, nice. Let's see. Okay, Anna Camila, love. What is the plural form? Love. The plural form it's love. Okay, excellent, love. Good job, nice. So let's see, next one, Daniela Navas. Life, what is the plural form of this one? Life. Lives. Okay, thank you, yes, it's this one, lives. Excellent, Valerie Lizama, half. What is the plural form of the word half? Hello, teacher. Hello, Valerie. Hello, Beth. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Halves, yes. Okay, next one. What is the plural form, Rudy, of the word wolf? Wolf. What is the plural form, Rudy? Wolf. Okay, Rudy, can you activate your sound? If no, you can write the answer in the chat, yeah? Okay. So let's see. Okay, let me check. Okay, Matias Aguilar, help me please. What is the plural form of wolf? Wolf. Okay, so let's see, wolf. Remember, you change the letter F, okay, by the letter V, yeah? Okay, so let's see, let's repeat. Shelf, shelves. Calf, calves. Knife, knives. Leaf, leaves. Love, loves. Life, lives. Half, halves. And wolf, wolves. Yes? Okay, that's good. So we were here the plural form of these singular nouns in that case. And we apply the rule that says that if a noun ending in F, okay, or F-E, you change the F or F-E to the letter V, and then you add the suffix E-S, yes? Okay, excellent. So let me see, did you complete this part? Yeah, you did it? Okay, that's good. Let's see. Okay, tell me, Jimena. So you write in the chat, yeah? Your question or your comment, yeah? And I read it. Okay, excellent. So let's see, we can continue. 
Ah, okay, that's good. Okay, so we clear all and we continue, yes? Okay, next exercise, this one, okay? In this exercise, we circle the word in each pair of word that is spelled correctly, okay? That's mean one of this one is spelled in the correct way, yeah? Okay, so let's see the first one. What is the correct form? Tifes or thieves? Tifes or thief? Okay, Mario. Thieves. Okay, excellent. So let me check. I put with green, yeah? Okay, so you circle this one, thieves. Okay, excellent. I know this one is not a good circle, yeah? So let's do it again. Okay, almost. <laughs> okay, so let's see next one. Number two, ducks or duckes? What do you think is the best form? Ducks or duckes? Okay, ducks or duckes? Luisa Chinchilla. Okay, ducks or duckes? What is the correct form? Um. Ducks. Ducks, okay, excellent. So we only add an S at the end of the word, yeah? Okay, good job. Next one. Okay, Gabriel. Number three, dishes or dish? Dishes or dish? What is the correct form? Um, dishes. Okay, dishes, excellent, good job, dishes. Okay, so let's see, next one, Mateo Estrada. Flash or flashes? Flash or flashes? Hello, Miss. Hello, what is the correct form? The second. Okay, the second, flashes, yes? Okay, that's good. Let's see, next one, number five. Taxes or tax, Ariana Hueso. Taxes or tax? Taxes. Taxes. Okay, good job. Thank you. Valeria Soriano, number six. Birches or beers? Birches or beers? Hello, please. Hello, Valeria. Okay, what is the correct answer? Birches or beers? Birch. Okay, so in that case is birches. Yes, okay, remember when a word ends in CH, so you add ES at the end, yeah? Okay, Nicole Garcia, walls or wallets? So you can write the answer in the chat, yeah, Nicole? Okay, walls or wallets? What do you think? Okay, so let's wait some minutes. Okay, thank you, Nicole. Wolves, yes, that's good. Excellent. Okay, number eight, halves or half? Okay, what is the correct answer? Halves or half? In that case, okay, Alejandro Romero, halves or half? Good morning, Anna. Oh, no. Good afternoon. Okay, what is the correct form? Good afternoon. Halves. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. how best? Yes, that's good. How Excellent. Best. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay, Paulette. Next one. Number nine. Songs or songs? Songs or songs? Songs. Okay, good. Excellent. That's nice. Mateo Salmero, number 10. Self or sell best? Self. Hello, me. Hello. Self or selves? Self. Okay. In that case, is selves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Excellent. Yes. Okay. Good. Next one. Let me see. Okay. Jimena Enriquez, number 10, 11. Sorry. Bibles or Bibles? Bibles. Bibles, yes, okay, excellent. And the last one, Adrian. So let's see, 
cross or crosses. Cross or crosses. Let me check where is Adrian. Oh, okay, you are here. Adrian, cross or crosses? Crosses. Crosses. Okay, good. Excellent. So we saw this exercise, yeah? Okay, we circle the correct spelling word. Yes. Okay, Christopher, yes. Okay, so let me check the other exercise and you participate in it. Yeah. Okay, so we clear all this part and we continue with the next exercise. Okay, so first one, fill in the blank with the plural form of the noun in parentheses. So you have in parentheses the noun. And then we use the proofreaders, okay, for insert the necessary commas, for inserting the necessary commas. Okay, number one, Marvin, I cannot find my, okay, Christopher, what is the plural form of this one? Okay, glass. So that's me, what is the plural form? Christopher, okay. So let's see, what is the plural form? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Christopher. Okay, thank you, Jimena. What is the plural form? Glass. Uh, glasses. Glasses, okay, good job, excellent. Glasses, yes, we were here, glasses, nice. Next one, that use phi. Okay, what is the plural form? Let me see, Aaron. Number two, that use phi, good afternoon. Munch. Okay, Matt. What is? Matches. Matches, yes, excellent, okay. So let's see, that use five matches to start the campfire. You know what is the meaning of matches? Phosphorus, yes. Okay, next one. Number three, yes, there are several blue, Allison. There are several blue cars. Okay, there are several blue cars. Excellent, okay, in the parking lot. Next one, number four. I have a new set of, Alejandro Mendoza. I have a new set of. Hi. Hi. I have a new set, a new set of shelves. Okay, shelves, yes. Shelves in my room, Jordan, yeah? Okay, then, no, I have not seen that two new school. Okay, what is this one, Jimena Enriquez? What is the plural of bus? Buses. Okay, buses, excellent, good job. So, no, I have not seen that two new school buses. Excellent. So, let's see, but it's missing one thing. So, we need to insert the proofreading. Yeah. So, we check the punctuation. Marvin, I cannot find my glasses. This one is that correct. Okay. No, because it is necessary. Okay. That we add in that case a comma. Yeah. Okay. So, you right here, remember the rules comma. Okay. That use five matches to start the campfire, okay? Is this one okay? Yes, this one is okay. So let's see next one. Number three, yes. Remember, we write a comma, okay, after yes. Yes, there are several blue cars, okay, in the parking lot. Next one, okay, I have a new set of shelves in my room. So you write here, comma, John. Yeah, it's missing this one. And no. Okay, so you write a comma. Remember, after yes or no, you write a comma. No, I have not seen the two new school buses. Yes? Okay, that's good. Excellent. So I think that you finished this part, yeah? Okay, that's good. So let's see, congratulations, because you did an excellent job today. So you participate a lot. Yes, okay, so give an applause. Nice. Okay, see you tomorrow in the next classes, yes? Okay, have a nice afternoon, okay? And see you tomorrow, yeah? Ah, you are eating in classes, it's not possible. <laughs> okay, so let's see, bye-bye. Okay, a big hit for you. Okay, thank you for participating. See you tomorrow, yeah? <laughs> okay, bye-bye.
God bless you a lot. Thank you. Okay, and don't forget to send the uh, evidences, yes? Okay, please. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.